Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing user requested content. A user by the name of Simon Patulski asks, could you make a tutorial on the alarm when it's low, like something for airplanes? And he wants the, you know, the, the plane alarm to go off if the plane is too low and you know, you could crash. This video is gonna be a little bit different because it's going to include the, the process that I use to kind of try to figure this out. I was a little rusty at Stormworks. I hadn't played it in quite some time and I didn't actually have a plane for this. So I brought in my buddy, Real Red Moon, and he's gonna let me use one of his rigs to test on. Pretty sure this one works. Not 100%, but pretty sure. That's good enough for me. <laughs> pretty <laughs> sure, but not, I, I don't know. I don't know if it is. Oh, you're going to pilot it. <laughs> 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 All right, so I went ahead and uh, found that my old gas gauge from a previous tutorial video was going to work really well for this. Um, I was just going to rename the input from gas to altimeter and uh, just adjust the thresholds there. Uh, to reflect the appropriate uh, heights and it all would still probably work the same. So I'm going to throw it on this plane that my buddy uh, claims may or may not fly. So we'll see how that goes. So, huh? Let's go ahead and give it a spin. I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the passenger seat. Oh, Let's oh, do no, this. No, no. Yep, yep, yep. Just exiting out of this. Uh, this is going to be hilarious. Whoa. I don't know how to fly it. I know how to fly it. Oh, you know how to fly it? Yeah. Huh. Well, first off, why is there not a power switch hooked up to that thing? Uh, because we're just testing. Okay. I want to see that it lights up. Go ahead. Pick that thing up. Let me know the status of it because I can't see it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right. That did not work out at all. Put that back in the thing. All right, let me grab this other one. This other one will fly way better. All right, so my good friend, Real Red Moon, says he's got a different vehicle, so we're just going to start on a different vehicle, and uh, hopefully this one's going to go a little bit better. And ultimately, I'm really thankful because I did not want to build a plane for this mission. And I know he's got, you know, thousands of hours in this game. So I, I know he's got a plane, at least one that works somewhere. So we're going to explore a couple options, I guess. And uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Say that one more time. To w and S. Oh, you said you're not going to be able to steer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be able to steer a little bit, but not a lot, you know. Maybe. Oh, okay. Okay, got some X-Men stuff going on here. All right, so at this point, I'm just going to throw in all of the RGB lights and the buzzers. I'm going to put them all down the, the sides there in the cockpit area and make this as ridiculous as I can. Uh, throw in the microcontroller from my last video for the low fuel gauge alert with the buzzer and all that stuff. And uh, just going to change a couple variables to reflect uh, the altimeter height and adjust the thresholds for the uh, height that you want to fly at. And uh, when you get too close to the ground, it's going to, it's going to turn on and uh, we'll give it another run and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I did end up adding an on off input, which I named override. And this is going to give me the option to turn these lights and alarms on and off from inside the cockpit. So we'll just make room for it here. And then we'll go into the logic editor. Uh, we'll smack this guy down and uh, we'll tie him into a NOR just like this. And so we have our NOR. It's being passed the override on B. The blinker goes into NOR A. And then we're going to tie the out for the NOR into the audio out. And we'll make sure that we take our override button and tie it into the microcontroller there. And we should be good to go. All right, so yeah, yeah, it works. We're high. All right, go, go ahead and just down. dive. Yep. 
Now it's red. Ooh. Um. All right, so yeah, it works. You just gotta, uh, you know, remember to turn the alarm on. Should put you a seat and then put the actual uh, an altimeter like right in front, or like just a read back the dial. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I could put a display that. in there or something too. Yeah. All right, so we decided to help better dial in these altitudes with these uh, thresholds. We'd add a display. So I'll go ahead and throw in a Lewis script there, a composite right number, and we're going to tie in the altitude into that and then into the Lewis script. We'll still have to add a logic um, node here for a video output. We'll just name it video out. And then we'll go ahead and make room for it, move it over so it's not overlapping. And then we'll go into the logic editor here, pull it down and then tie the Lua script into it. And here you have a freeze frame of the finished script. It's a very basic script. I do have a previous video where I covered how to draw these for the displays. I'll link it in the description below. Oh. Oh. I put you a chair in there, would you? <laughs> what just happened? Put you, put you a chair in there. What is going on now? It's not flying. <laughs> Alright, let's try that one more again. <laughs> well, we're flying. It ain't the way we want it to, but... What's the altimeter saying? <laughs> uh, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. All right, and throttle up. And we're good for takeoff. Beautiful. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Trying to pull it back out, there we go. I definitely turned the jets down too much. Oof. It's yellow. It's red. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Throttle to third. Well, we'll go to like 25. There we go. All right. Once we hit about 150, which is right now, I'm going to turn this guy on. All right. Got a nice yellow signal. Above. Well, we're, there we go. Above 300. Yeah. See, that's perfect height, I think. Yeah. For it to be green. Should get to red here by this mountain. I don't know if the altimeter works off of from the ground level. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking sea, sea level. Sea level, yeah. 30,000? Hell yeah. 30. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I ain't even do that, big dog. Uh-oh. Oh! How do we get out of the vehicle? I'm trying to... Ah. Ooh, can I get back in my seat? There's my seat. Okay, and I should have oh. just lowered the door right here, right on me. Should it be a lowered door? Ah. Ah. Did you make it? Yeah, I jumped out. Oh my god, I can't get out, G! <laughs> you got this! <laughs> oh my god. It's so pretty and green out there. All right, so this is the finished product. I got my little override button, my little monitor over here. I got my up button, I got my down button, I got my alarms and my lights. And we'll just make this buddy go all the way up. And you know, this is just a test to make sure that everything works as it should. The values and the thresholds are not gonna be the same. And I do apologize for the way that that plane looks. It's pretty generic. 
but uh, it got the job done. So we'll turn that on, um, lower it a little bit, and you'll see once it gets to, I think it's 17 or 18, yeah, there, it's gonna be yellow. And then we'll go ahead and lower it a little bit more. Uh, I think once it gets under 16, it's gonna start turning red. And it's basically, you just borrow the same principle. You're gonna have to adjust the thresholds, but it will work perfect. And I'm gonna go into the microcontroller just to show you how I did it. So we'll start by just going over the microcontroller here. We have the logic. We have our number input here from the altimeter. And then we're gonna have our composite output to the lights, on off output, which is gonna be our audio out. And we will have the uh, on off override input. This is gonna give us the opportunity to turn uh, the alarm and the lights on and off. And then we have our video output. This is not necessary, but we just wanted to see for troubleshooting purposes um, and kind of dial in those altitudes and those thresholds where our uh, altitude was at. All right, so once we're in the logic editor here, we can break this down pretty simply by just identifying the columns here. We have the first column, the second column, and the third column. These are our colors, and these are our constant numbers that are going to fill the colors. So if we have red, green, and blue, you'll know this is red, this is red and green, which makes yellow, and this is green. So we have our red column, our yellow column, and our green column. Okay, so that explains the columns, that explains the constant numbers. And down here we have the input from the altimeter. So it'll take this value, it'll pass it to a threshold on each of these columns, and uh, the threshold you can set, uh, 14 meters is about ground level in the garage there. So, uh, you know, th these obviously are lower numbers than what we used because this is for this little contraption I've built for this video. But we went with uh, a high threshold of 150, which we found worked the best for the red. And then for the yellow, we did uh, 150 to, I think, 300. And then for the green, we did 300 and up. Uh, we, we went up to 50,000. I think we set 50,000 for the high threshold. This was not necessary. We weren't actually able to get that high, but uh, you can set it to whatever you want. Um, some variances here to talk about are the video out, Lewis script, and composite write number. You don't have to put these in. We just put those in so we could have a visual altimeter and we could uh, kind of zero in these thresholds. So this isn't necessary. But uh, we also have an override switch here. I wanted to explain this. So the override is the on-off input that we have on, on the node here. You'll see it. And uh, so you just take the override button and you pass it to a NOR, and then the NOR gets its A value from the red column blinker. And you're going to take that value to the, from the NOR, and you're going to pass it to the audio out. So this is going to be able to override the audio out. So it's going to say, oh, you know, turn the alarm off. But also we wanted to turn the lights off too, right? So we pass that same value over to a composite switch box, which is fed by the composite switch box in the green column here. And it's passed out to the output to light. But in order to get that to work, we had to have a second signal for the off. So we took a composite right number and we fed it a constant number of zero. That way, zero is the option for off. And so when that is when this composite switch box is activated by the NOR, it's going to turn it off and pass nothing to the output to the light. And that's how that works. I hope this really helps you out and gives you a good understanding of how you can make this. I wanted to take this moment to shout out to Simon Potolsky. This video would not have been created without commenters like you. So I appreciate it and thank you so much. Also, my buddy Real Red Moon. It's been a long time good friend of mine. He does stream on Twitch forward slash Bobby's Basement with a Z. He streams Microsoft Flight Simulator and sometimes survival games like Space Engineers. If that sounds like something you might be into, head on over to his channel and give him a follow. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.